What up Sailor Senshi? I'm Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news and merch reviews. Today I have a Japan haul unboxing for you. This is a series of boxes that I have gotten from Japan over the past couple of months or so. I'm really excited to unbox all of these different products and show you what I think of them. Now as usual I will tell you where I got these from as well as give you the links and the prices down below so you know what the MSRP was. Just just in case you need to buy these from a third party, you know exactly how much you should be paying. I actually have several boxes to get through this time, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with them. But first, I did wanna mention my adorable Sailor Moon themed Christmas tree. I hope you like it. It's adorable and I'm so proud of it. I used all of my cute little twinkle dollies on here and I was just like, oh, they're perfect for a Christmas tree. So I put them on a Christmas tree. There you go. <laughs> so I'm gonna start with these two boxes, which I got from Amy Amy, or Ami Ami, and both of these are products that were re-released. So if you have been collecting for a long time, a few years, then you probably already have these. However, I just started seriously collecting like two years ago, so I didn't have these yet. Uh, I decided to purchase them since I was able to find them at retail prices, which is way better than what I was seeing on eBay for the longest time. And I was like, perfect, perfect timing, super inexpensive products, so might as well go ahead and get them. So the first items that I got is the Ocha Tomo series uh, Cosmic Heart Cafe 8 pack. So this is a pack of eight. It's a full box. So if I open this, I haven't opened it yet, so this is my first time looking at it. Oh yeah, cool. So I do get eight separate blind boxes in this packaging, but since it all came in the box straight from the retailer, this should include all six of the characters that you see on the front here and then have two extras. So I should have doubles of two of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and open these and find out which ones I was able to get. Okay, so I got them all open and it looks like each of these different Ocha Tomo series cafe figures also comes with a coaster. The coaster is paper, so I likely won't use it because this would just soak up all and absorb all of that water and then it would probably ruin the printing. So I'll probably just keep those in the packaging but I'll definitely be displaying the figures. So the first one I got is Sailor Uranus and it looks like her paint looks excellent. I also received Sailor Neptune, Sailor Saturn, that means Pluto. Yep, here's Sailor Pluto, Sailor Chibi Moon, and Sailor Moon, and that's Super Sailor Moon. Cool. And then I also received extras of Super Sailor Moon and Sailor Saturn. So I will likely put these in a future giveaway, maybe. Uh, keep an eye on my channel for that if I do another giveaway, which I most likely will whenever I hit my next goal. So I'll let you know more about that whenever I get close to my next goal. And as far as these other ones go, I'm going to be displaying them back there with all of my other super cute goodies eventually. So I'll get these out of the packaging and set them up really soon. Also from Ami Ami, I got these two really adorable Q Posque figures. So these are figures that are in collaboration with the brand called Q Posquet. They were really easy to find at conventions and stuff like that, but they were usually really overpriced. So I was excited to see these on sale again at retail prices since they were supposed to be like 25 or $30 each. And I would see these as much is like a hundred dollars each via eBay, which I thought was ridiculous. So I decided to go ahead and get both of these. Not sure if I like them yet or not. I'm not really big on Q Posket. These are the first two that I've actually ever gotten. So I'm gonna open these, see how I feel about them, and hopefully keep them. So here's the Sailor Moon one, and I have to say her head is huge compared to her body style. I've never seen one of these out of the packaging in person, so it just looks like it was kind of surprising how big her head is. Um, I think that's totally normal for these, this brand in this style. It looks like she also comes with a really nice uh, stand so that she can actually stand up and be sturdy on there. And she does have some metallic painting on there too. It looks like the paint style is really nicely done. The quality is really nice. It's cute though. It's really cute. The Princess Serenity one comes with a beautiful dress. She looks so pretty. And it looks like her face is almost exactly the same as the Sailor Moon face for this Q Posquet figure. Uh, she also comes with a stand as well. So it looks like she'll be standing pretty sturdily. And her paint quality is also fairly good. So 
I think these are pretty cute. I think I might keep them actually. Um, I'm pretty impressed with the paint quality, especially for such an inexpensive product. And I think it looks really good as far as the details go. Like you can see hair strands and you can see how the bun is made. So they added a bunch of really interesting details to these characters, to these two different figures that really brings a lot of character to them. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with this purchase. This purchase was a really quick one that I chose to get from a reseller on Instagram. Uh, these are limited edition. They were only found at a museum in Tokyo. So kind of hard to find online, but these are three different clear files that I really wanted to get my hands on because I love getting manga style clear files. So these feature Usagi from this gorgeous print clear file. We also have this one of the Inner Sailor Senshi, and this is another beautiful clear file. So this features manga illustrations from Naoko Takeuchi. And the last one is this clear file, which features all of the Sailor Senshi. So each of these are also prints that I was able to purchase through, I think, Premium Bandai and the fan club. So I'll be getting those sometime next year. Uh, hopefully those come in pretty soon, but I'm excited about these. All three of them are really beautiful and they aren't super cluttered with a bunch of design. They are just strictly based on uh, Naoko Takeuchi's illustration. The back of them, each of them says Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon, and that's pretty much it. There's a little bit of a filigree kind of art style on the edges, but that's it for these. Really, really cute. I combined a few different items in this box because I wanted to save a little bit of space in my tiny studio in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this because I'm not sure exactly what's in the box. How many times have you heard that on this channel, right? Okay, I will show you what's in these little boxes first. Oh, that is way pretty in person. This is a glass plate, which you can use for accessories like putting jewelry on or whatever you might have in your house. Uh, but this is a beautiful heart-shaped plate that has a little crust moon at the top and then it has a Sailor Moon's bow in the middle with some pretty filigree ribbon uh, gold foil around the outside of the heart. Uh, this is from Isatan. So this is a part of the Sailor Moon Isatan collaboration for 2019. They did not have a lot of items for the Isatan collaboration that I was really interested in. I'm not a huge Anna Sui fan, so I didn't really purchase anything from that line, but I did really like the items that you can purchase for your household this year. So this was one of the items I got. I did not get many items. Now that means that this is most likely the teapot, maybe? So the teapot features almost the exact same style print as the little heart-shaped plate did. It also has the crescent moon and the gold foil texture. It says Sailor Moon on the front of it, and then it has Sailor Moon's Fukubo. So it's very simplistic. Like, if you were just looking at this from far away, you would not know that it's a Sailor Moon item. But I really liked it because it was so dainty and kind of a hidden fandom in a way. So it's a very, like, adult friendly item that's very designer pretty and of course it is because Isatan is like the Nordstrom's of Japan so this is really cute I will definitely be adding this to like my China collection of beautiful items from Sailor Moon collaborations these cuties you had to buy all four of them together they only came in these bags but I'm okay with that because it made it a lot easier for me to get my hands on them so these are the Ote Dama series Sum Sums, basically, from the Sailor Moon store. And these feature the four generals. So you will have Jedite, Kunzite, Nephrite, and Zoisite here. And all of them look freaking adorable. They're so dang cute. Oh, it looks like my Kunzite had a little bit of a pull in his label that is sewn onto the side of him. So I might try to get my hands on a replacement Kunzite because I want to have my perfection in my collection. So these are super cute. Um, the weird thing with these ones is as opposed to all the other ones in the uh, Ote Dama collection from the Sailor Moon store, these ones do not have separate labels. Since they came in a bag, they only came with one label, and then that is for all four of the generals. So technically, I could keep these in the bag and then keep the label with them, but I'll probably just put the label in storage, and then I will put these four back here with the rest of the Otedamas. I'll have to find a place for them, though, because I'm kind of running out of storage for all these Otedamas, even though they're adorable. These next items, I actually went ahead and got out of the packaging because they, too, take a while to actually set up. These are the 
Twinkle Statues Series 2, which were basically gachapon, so you could get these out of vending machines. And I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed with the quality of Series 2. Now, the first series of these Twinkle Statues, like this one right here of Sailor Moon, her hair was so hard to get to stick in there. I actually had to super glue her hair into place because it kept on falling out and it was so annoying. With season two, they definitely fixed that problem. This one has no issues with putting her hair in there and it remains sturdy and I have no problems with putting them on their stands and them actually staying on their stands. So the value for your money with these is so, so good. These are only a few hundred yen, so a few dollars, basically. They're definitely under $10 each, for sure. And you get so much value out of these little, teeny, tiny characters. They're so cute. They're kind of like the Petit Chara type of line, where you get that nice, high quality for a pretty inexpensive deal. And they're bigger, too, so I highly recommend these for anybody who can get your hands on them, and you should be able to find them for a fairly good deal, even from resellers as well. I really hope that we get a Series 3 and a Series 4 with these. I would love to see, like, the Outer Sailor Senshi and the Sailor Starlights as these little series because they are so freaking adorable. So I'm gonna keep my eye out for those because I will absolutely add those to my list of things that I wanna get. These are from one of my proxies as well in Tokyo and these are both from the Sailor Moon store. These are the Happy Halloween 2019 acrylic stands. So there were two different ones that you could get. I decided to opt for both of them. The first one features Sailor Moon and Sailor Chibi Moon in their cute little Halloween outfits. And if you were a fan of Sailor Moon drops, then you will definitely recognize these characters because they look exactly like they did in Sailor Moon drops. We also have Uranus and Neptune as cute little vampire and a cute little witch, and they also look like their Sailor Moon drops versions, which I'm so bummed that that game is no longer available. That game was so much fun. I was obsessed with it, but I never bought anything, and they didn't make any money off of me, so that's probably why they don't make it anymore. Uh, but these are super cute little acrylic stands, very inexpensive, both from the Sailor Moon store. Super cute. I wanted to give mention to this brand that I just discovered recently, thanks to my proxy in Tokyo, No Country for Tall Men. He had some of these on hand, so I purchased them from him. These are clear file storage holders. Each of these features 20 pages, so you can fit up to basically 40, unless you want to display both front and back for the clear files. And this is by a company called Koade. It's C-O-A-D-E. So I'll put a link below to their website because these are really excellent little clear file holders. And I'm so excited because I've had my clear files in like a shoebox for a long time and I'm really excited to actually have something to put them in. So I ended up getting four of these binders and I'm glad I did because each of them features just 20 pages and I know I have way more than 20 clear files. So I could totally like design each one and decorate it on the front with a bunch of Sailor Moon stickers. <laughs> it's gonna be so cute. I'm so excited. As usual, I do not remember what this is, so I'm gonna open it. I think this is a brooch, but I'm not sure. Oh, it is a brooch. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Okay, so this is a very simple little pin, a very simple brooch, but this features the Sailor Starlights symbol. This was something I got from Premium Bandai. A lot of these items were premium cost too, so I wanted other things from this Sailor Starlights line, but they were just too expensive. So I just ended up getting the pin, and it's super cute though. It's very, very sparkly, and it looks like it's well made, and it features three little gems for each of the starlights, so very cute. Uh, this is... It must be Petit Charas, but I don't remember which ones. Maybe it's the Happy Wedding ones? Hmm, I don't remember. What did I buy? What were the most recent ones announced? Because that's whatever these ones are. Or the rec recent ones that were shipping, I should say. Because their announcements take a long time for them to actually release anything. Oh, it is! It is the Happy Wedding group. So this is the duo. It's Usagi and Mamo-chan. And they are in traditional Japanese wedding garb. They have these beautiful kimono on and Usagi has these adorable flowers in her hair. And they do come with a white stand too. They probably come with a postcard as well. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna open it and find out. That's so precious. So here's the postcard that they come with. It says, Happy Wedding, Mamo Mamoru and Usagi. Okay, so here we have the cute, adorable couple, Usagi and Mamoru. 
and they both have their adorable kimono. Uh, I noticed that Usagi's is kind of a really pretty sheen. It's kind of translucent almost, so it's got a, like a pearlescent vibe to it. And she does have some really pretty flowers in her hair. This is so adorable. I love these. If Honestly, if I was getting married this year as opposed to like five years ago when I actually did get married, I would totally put these on top of my cake. Oh, they're so cute. This next item everybody wanted to get their hands on because it was so cool. So this is a one-to-one -one size, super accurate dream mirror. So this is from uh, Sailor Moon Supers and this is the dream mirror that the characters would have. Uh, this is really pretty and it's supposed to be a fairly accurate dream mirror. I haven't even taken this out of the box yet. I don't know if it's glass or if it's plastic. Let's find out. Wow. I'm impressed. Okay, I am very impressed with this, actually. Very impressed. So the outside part of it is a nice hard plastic. It doesn't feel super plasticky, but it's definitely plastic. And it's a matte pink color. However, on the front, we have this really pretty, kind of a plum colored bow. And this bow does have a pearlescent sheen to it. Sorry if I'm reflecting too much in the screen. Uh, on the back, there is a hanger for a nail. And if I pop this out, you can also just tilt it back so you can set this on like a vanity, for example. I think it is made out of glass. It was covered in like a nice wrap, like a styrofoam wrap. And it also had a piece of plastic over the glass on the front too to keep it from getting messed up or anything. And it looks really good. It's got a nice reflection to it. It is one-to-one, -one, definitely. And it's the perfect size. So this is so cool. You can even use this for cosplay as well. This is definitely a high quality item and I absolutely love it. I wasn't sure if I would like it or not because, you know, sometimes you take these things out of the wrapping and they just, they do not look as good as you think they were going to look. And this one's one of those items where I'm just like, cool, I'm very impressed. So good job, Mega House, Mega Tree Shop. This is a very cute product and definitely a premium quality item. All right, last but not least, definitely not least, I have a couple of items from the Uniglo Japan Sailor Moon collaboration. Now these were only available in Japan, hence why they are part of my Japan haul. First is a t-shirt, and this is a very simple t-shirt. I got a large because I wasn't sure if it would fit or not since it's Japanese sizing. This is a very pretty ombre colored photo of all of the Sailor Senshi, including the outers, which is why I was very interested in getting it. And it's manga, and it's just so beautiful. I really like the print, and I like the quality, and I think it's very, very pretty. And it's long. It's not super short like the worldwide Uniglo Sailor Moon collaboration shirt. So this will actually fit me quite well because my torso is somewhat long. So I'm excited about this shirt. I was like, yes, finally. Thank you, Uniglo, for making a shirt that's actually long enough. This other item I was a little bit iffy on because I wasn't sure if I would like it or not. And this is the Sailor Moon Uniglo Japan collaboration hoodie. Uh, on the front of this one, there's nothing to write home about. It just has it has a couple of different places for your hands on the front, and then on the back, we do have a print. Now the reason why I wasn't so sure about it is because the print, it's it doesn't show up super well on this heather gray hoodie. Uh, but if you can see it, I'll try to get a close up so you can see what's going on here. It is a page out of the Sailor Moon manga, and it does feature, it looks like Sailor Moon in the middle, and then we also have a close-up of Sailor Moon in another little box manga graph on the side. I'm not sure what the terminology is. And at the bottom we have, it looks like Jupiter, Mars, Mercury, and Venus. And it says Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon. It looks like this is nice and thick, would be good for winter, good for fall. And it's not lined with anything special on the inside, but it does look like it'll be pretty warm. So I'll have to test this out and see how warm it is in actuality, but it looks really good. So I'm pretty stoked about it, even though the printing is kind of hard to see on the back. So I think Uniglo would have done this a much better service if it just did a straight gray color, black or maybe white even, like a white hoodie, that would be cute too, because this print is just kind of hard to see. 
I don't know. What do you guys think? I would love to know what you think. So that is everything out of my Japan haul for this month. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any questions about any of these products below. Again, I will put the links and the pricing down below if the links are still available for these products. And of course, if you have not already, make sure to subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Sailor Snubs. I'll see you next time. Jane. Mm -hmm.